Hey guys, how are you? I hope you have a wonderful time this uh, time of year. I hope you're having an uh, amazing, joyful Christmas with your close ones and with your close ones. And um, well, I'm Eva, I'm your personality and talent development psychologist. And today, as uh, a Christmas gift, I prefer, uh, prepared for you uh, this video on imposter syndrome. So what is uh, imposter syndrome? So imposter syndrome is experienced quite often by consultants or by specialists or people who would like to become ones. And it's a feeling, basically it's a feeling of being a fraud. Um, right? So it's possible if you want to be a consultant or if you want to be a specialist, if you want to tell people uh, what to do, if you want to use your expertise or your knowledge uh, for um, counseling, for giving advice. It's this feeling uh, you might have that, uh, well, you're not enough, right? That you don't know uh, so many things that you are not that educated that you are not such a such an expert to actually give advice or um, it also happens uh, you know to people who um, want to change their job or, or who want to start new career people uh, i talk to before they go to a job interview you know they feel very uncertain and even though they have all the knowledge, they have everything they need, they still have this feeling like, you know, who am I to tell them that I'm really good at it? Who am I to, uh, you know, give advice? Who am I to become an expert or claim myself as an expert in this field? And, uh, it's, it's a very common thing, but uh, it's usually it's really not justified because people very often have this feeling that they need to know everything to be in a place where, where they can give advice, that they really need to cover the whole field. And um, that's not true. It's not about being the smartest person in the room or being the most acclaimed ex expert, expert uh, in the world uh, when it comes to a certain topic. Because even if you're not, there are people who know less about the topic and might use your knowledge, might use your expertise. And it's not because these people aren't smart or it's not because these people aren't educated. But, you know, in today's world, there are so many things uh, we can know that it's impossible for one person to know it all. So even if these people are experts, they might be experts on something else and they still might use your knowledge, they still might use your expertise and you might not be the smartest one, you might not be the one who's the best informed. So if you are having this feeling like you are not smart enough, you are not educated enough, you are not informed enough, you are not good enough, to become an expert and to become someone who can help people uh, in certain field, then I really encourage you to kind of dig a bit deeper into this and um, find out if it's not your not uh, this imposter syndrome right because it would be really shame uh, if you would refrain yourself uh, from doing something you might really enjoy and be really good at just because you are waiting for the moment when you know everything or, or when you are you know really an expert or or when you don't have to be afraid of this situation when someone asks you a question you can't answer because you know 
even the best experts can get these and it uh, doesn't make them afraid uh, of sharing their expertise and it shouldn't um, you know make afraid you afraid of uh, of doing it as well so uh, if you have some knowledge if you have uh, something you can share with us we can share with world then please don't be afraid of uh, being a fraud because you are really not you have always some piece of information some advice you can share with others and you can um, you can help someone by doing it so it would be really a big shame if uh, you wouldn't do it so um yeah that's that's very very short introduction to imposter syndrome and my message to you my encouragement for you to not uh, get overwhelmed by it and uh, well i hope this information was really helpful and uh, that uh, you will find some time and courage to actually conquer uh, this uh, part of um, um, of um, well negative negative thoughts and negative circle so uh actually i think we will see each other uh in new year this is the last uh last uh, um life uh, in this year so it was really amazing meeting you uh in the year 20 18 and i'm looking forward to meeting you live in 2019 enjoy the last days of these years and uh, enjoy new year celebrations and um, well see you later bye